Hello, Alexander here. I've talked to many Eagle users, and at some point, they all mentioned their frustration with Eagle's basic design rule set. More often than not, you'll need a design rule engine that's more flexible and advanced than what Eagle can provide. For example, being able to define VS bands and sizes around dense components such as fine pitch BGAs. Being able to define these types of area rules are imperative to fan out those devices. Let me show you how rooms are used to define and assign rules by area in Altium Designer. Rooms are regions that can be placed either empty in an area of the PCB or associated with specific components. With the BGA component in place, it's easy and straightforward to place a room around it and to associate the component with that room. Using the design rooms command to place the room, there are various options to choose from depending on your specific requirements, such as placing different shapes for the room outline and copying room formats. To place a simple rectangular room, just click and drag the mouse to fully encompass the BGA component. With the room defined and the BGA associated with it, a room rule definition has been created automatically. So let's explore the details in the design rules. Coming from Eagle, you may feel a little intimidated seeing all these advanced rules, but it's not as scary as it seems at first sight, so don't worry. In the placement rules section, there are room definitions. The room definitions can be found in the placement rules section. The room that was just created is named Room Definition 3. So let's rename it to Room BGA to make it easier to identify later. Next, use the Width Rules area to define a rule for the desired route width when entering the room area, renaming it to Width BGA in this case. Using the Powerful Query tool, a custom query will be used to define the specific values of the parameters for the room. Rooms have two available queries that automates its access. One is called Touches Room, and the other is Within Room, which we'll use now. As you start typing the word Within Room, notice that it pops up, and after selecting, a drop-down list is displayed automatically with all the available room names, including Room BGA that was created earlier. Let's set the min, preferred, and max to 6 mils, then, Whenever the routing enters this BGA room, the route width will automatically change to 6 mils, so there's no need to keep track of when to use different route widths. Again, using the within room query, a similar rule can be created for the clearance, setting the clearance to 4 mils and renaming it to clearance BGA. The last step is to create another rule for the via style. Again, use the custom query within room to create a new rule and rename it to Routing Via BGA, and then set the proper hole size and diameter. In this case, a preferred hole size of 16 mils and a diameter of 32 mils. With all the rules associated with the room in place, the BGA is now ready to be fanned out. Use the Route Fanout Component command, then select the BGA component to quickly add the fanout pattern. If this was a HDI design and you wanted to change these fanout vias to micro vias, for example, assuming the stack up vias with micro vias have already been set up, as you see here, it is easy to do so. Just change the selection filter to only select vias, then select all the vias. Within the properties pane, I can select the name of the micro via from my stack up that I will use for the fanout. After selecting the micro via from the first to second layer, all the fanout vias are changed to micro vias. Now let's review that in 3D. Since Eagle doesn't have 3D capabilities, you may not think it would be useful, but designing in 3D has many benefits, like visual inspection, clearance violations, and more. But we'll talk about that stuff later. For now, use the shortcut keys Control Z to switch the vias back to through hole to see the difference, and then use Control Y to change them back to micro vias. Now, let's take a look at the effect that these rules have, which supersedes the general design rules when routing multiple traces into the room. Select the multiple nets, and from the active bar displayed at the top of the window, and then select Interactive Multi-Routing. As the traces are routed, the shortcut key number 2 is used to add some vias outside of the room. Then, as the router enters the room, 
you can see that the route width automatically necks down, adhering to the room width rule preferred setting. This also works equally well with differential pairs and single net routing. The shortcut key, the number two, can again be used to add vias inside of the room. Notice how the size changed. Single or stacked micro vias can also be added using the Control L shortcut. Thank you for watching the video. If you would like to try Altium Designer yourself, decide if you'd like to experience an online evaluation or download the software for a longer trial. Simply click the link on the website.